anyone else listen to our president a few minutes ago? Anyone else? I am so utterly sick of the lies. I am so sick of the lies. I mean, aren't you? Aren't you just so sick of the lies? It's, it, it repulses me. It just, it's so repulsive. So repulsive. It's getting almost to the point where you can barely, I can barely stand. being a part of this. As an American, I just, I feel like, oh my God, it's endless. It's just endless. It's endless. It's endless. The lying, the lying, the lying. The arrogance, dripping with arrogance. Oh, this nation drips with arrogance. It's so, wow, no humility. This paternalistic attitude, are you kidding? Punish, we're punishing Assad. The lies are amazing. It's almost like the majority of the American can't hold anything in context. It's like the Americans, majority of them don't even, they can't even remember. They can't even remember what he did with Libya. Remember Libya? Remember he bypassed Congress and got United Nations approval? And because of that United Nations approval, Well, that was what justified his action going into Libya. But he didn't get, he bypassed Congress. Now, he's not getting United Nations approval. And he's, he declared that he's going to bypass that, but he's going to seek congressional approval. Because there's too many Americans against this. So Congress, you know, Well, before I forget to say this, everybody has to call their representatives in Congress and demand. Demand. Demand that your representative follow what you want. Demand. Demand that they listen and get everybody else that you know to call. Flood them with phone calls. Not emails. Phone calls get those lines ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing demand but Obama actually contradicted himself anyway because he said oh it's going to happen it'll happen imminently a week's time a month's time and then said that there is going to be a debate. The leaders of Congress will have a debate. And he's going to seek congressional approval, but he's already said it will happen. Do you get it? That really congressional approval doesn't matter. Because, well, the dictator that he said he has to punish, do you understand that we have a dictator? We have a dictator. Here come our military helicopters. He called this country a constitutional democracy. <laughs> well, that was a deliberate agenda to stop using the word republic. And that's why you hear so many people calling our country a democracy. We're not a democracy. We are a republic.
Our own president doesn't even know that we're a republic. Got loads of them today. I can't see. Three. The war is coming here, folks. You want to believe the lies of your president? You want to believe this horseshit over and over and over again? You want to believe a lying sack of shit, despicable human being? You want to continue being part of glorifying our evil actions? Fine. Fine. But the war is coming right to us. The war has been already declared on us. Man, I can't think. I feel like hell. And it doesn't help. It doesn't help to hear all of this lying. Oh my God, I wish I could just filibuster the world. Don't you wish you could just make everybody stop? Just stop and kind of force them to think because everybody just keeps going, 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 going. And they never think. They never stop and take a step back. And take an objective, an objective look at what we're doing. Do you know Obama kills children? He killed a 16-year-old American boy. Murdered him. Do you know that this is the man who... The oldest constitutional democracy... Do you know that he's destroyed the Constitution? Yeah, presidents before him helped pave the way. Do you understand that we don't have due process anymore? Do you understand that we don't have a Fourth Amendment anymore? Do you understand that the police can now come into your home without a warrant, search, destroy your home? Do you understand that your sons and daughters or whomever can just be picked up by our military and indefinitely detained. Don't you understand what the hell is going on in America? Please, please, could you please start thinking, my God, what the hell is wrong here? Do you understand that Obama kills children with his drone strikes? Aren't you disgusted by the arrogance that we are punishing a nation claiming that Assad did it when all of the evidence is pointing to us? Our CIA trained and trained those rebels to use and store weapons, chemical weapons. Do you understand that there's a whole lot of evidence Evidence is really important. It's Don't make it obsolete, please. Evidence. Real evidence. Not the kind of fabricated evidence that comes out of our government and military. Do you understand that the UN today, earlier, before our lying president got up there to give that speech, that the UN said that it would take a couple of weeks to determine if there were chemical weapons and what chemical weapons were used. Do you understand anything? 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 Because you know what? A whole lot of Americans do. And we're just feeling utterly like... Like we don't like the suffering that we cause the world. Do you understand the logic of we're going to punish this Assad we call the dictator? Our dictator... Punishing that dictator for using chemical weapons, even if it were true, we're going to punish them by killing more people, innocent people. Something, doesn't that trigger something in your brain? 
Doesn't it trigger something in your brain that how dare we police the world when our own country is getting destroyed? Doesn't anything trigger anything in your brain anymore? We've been lying from the start. Hundreds of years ago, we lie and lie and lie. How the West was won. We glorify our evil, vile actions. We glorify the suffering we cause. We glorify the destruction that we cause. And we claim that we have a right to do it. We claim that we are, take the moral high road. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of the majority of the Americans who can't turn on that little bulb in their head to start thinking. When is it ever going to stop? Don't you understand? This is exactly what they do. It's the same old narrative. When are you going to stop buying it? When are you going to stop accepting the lies? When are you going to start actually being the people that you claim to be? Moral, upright. Or is it just too fucking easy for you to just sit back and watch your sports now? How many people have to die in our name? My God, our president kills American teenagers. Wake up. Wake up! I'm so sick of it. Sick, sick, sick of this. Endless suffering and destruction and murder in our name, and then we take the moral high ground doing it. What the hell is wrong with you, America? What is wrong with you? Aren't you tired of this? And if you are tired of it, then take action and start screaming about it. God! Call Congress. Call your representatives. Call them. A phone call is not that much of a big deal. Do it. Act. Please. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Raise your consciousness. Please. Don't wait for that traumatic experience to raise that consciousness. Just try it. Take a step back. Listen to the conspiracy theorists who you think are crazy. Listen to people who critically think. Listen to people who are not so nationalistic that they have to just say, oh, okay, fine, it's our president, and therefore, oh, we're doing the good thing, and go ahead. Oh, who the hell is he to punish somebody else? Are we really, th are we really children? Have we really become so infantilized, infantilized, that we're going to listen to this president actually claim that he has the right to punish? But he's, but he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's, lying. he's so lying. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs>